Welcome back, people. This your boy Trick Daddy Dollars. This is another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. Today we're going to be talking about the economy. We're going to be talking about the gas prices. And of course, you know, Trick loved the kids. I was raised by a, a lady named Miss Pearl. Lived in three or four different projects, the new buildings, the poker beans, uh, Cuban village and Scott Projects. Now, though I spent most of my time in the Poker Bean Projects, and you would think, oh, I know he had it rough, he had it bad, he had it tough. Actually, those were some of the best, some of the best memories of my life. That's when family was family. You know, and my mom had 11 children, so they took two housing projects and made them into one, so we actually had two addresses. So we had one side of the projects where, when my mama went, ran errands, I went in the streets, I went to her friend house, we turned that into a football field. We put the matches on the floor, we wrestled, we, 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 we played threw up tackle, we played uh, softball with a tennis ball. We did all the things. And to be honest, ever since the war on drugs in the late 80s, my city has taken a dramatic fall. You see, I'm from a city that was built off drug money, but now this city is being built off investors. People from other countries, people from other walk of life that's coming down here investing money and overcharging us to live here. And we will tighten up, we're gonna have to find somewhere to stay. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. We're gonna have to find somewhere to stay. See, it used to be called the place where you come on vacation and leave on probation, that's because the police were targeting all the athletes and the entertainers, and I guess they were setting it up and paving the way for that. But now we got them, we got them cricket ass cops up out of here. You know, I went to prison before the ninth grade, something I ain't proud of, but something I'm glad I went through. Because I was able to come out, and since January 25th of 1995, I've been incarcerated free. There's a lot of young black brothers that wish they could come out and get a star, but it's so hard for them. So we got to be careful who we vote for as the governors, the mayors, the legislators, the senators. We got to be careful who we vote for because we need to remind ourselves that some of us are better than most of us. Like none of us better than all of us. Therefore, we're not perfect. We're imperfect people born in an imperfect world. If we make mistakes in our lives, we need a chance to redeem ourselves and start all over again. I got a guest today that's going to shock y'all and surprise y'all. It's my little nephew. Big man, where you at? We right here. Now, everybody been asking about you at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And I've been talking about the economy. I've been talking about the price of gas. I've been talking about everything that's going on in the city of Miami. Yeah, it's a lot. And I said, I'm going to bring my nephew to the show with me today since you represent the kids. How old are you? 12. 12 years old. What I'm going to do since you're 12, I'm going to cook something for the adults. You cook something for the kids. How about that? Nah, we're going to switch it. We're going to switch it up. I'm going to cook for the adults. You're going to cook for the kids. Okay, fine with me. I was going to cook chicken. You know something about that? Come on. Okay, well, handle your business then. I ain't going to say nothing. Handle your business. I'm going to do the talking. So Big Man is my, my youngest sister's son, and all my nieces and nephews are like my kids. So let me ask you, Big Man, why you why you getting this chicken ready? See, you putting your gloves on, that's good. That's good. So a, 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 as a young man in school now, what do you think the teachers, what do you think the teachers and the administrators could do to help better you know, education for y'all. What what could make it better for you and all your peers and all your classmates in school? What could make it better for y'all? You know what I'm saying? You got any suggestions, anything you think that could help? Um, really, with the all the school shootings and things, we need more security, need more, just a, a lot of more things that they aren't, that they don't have ready for us and that they don't, they just need to put more effort into what they're doing for us. For us. That's all. 
you are you familiar with besides your teachers do you know any of the other teachers at your school by name um no see that's another thing when i was in school i knew all the teachers especially the mean teachers and they knew me and it was a rule my mama used to say if you catch my doing something wrong beat their ass now a lot of you parents don't put your hand on my child don't do this don't do that it don't help them now i ain't want to say nothing but you stealing my recipe now nah, this is my recipe I'm the first one you saw ever do some something like that. It was yours, not mine. Wow. You see how they do you? I got big man in the house. We watching Bitch, I Got My Pops. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddies, A Bitch, I Got My Pops. Now this next artist has not been in the game for long, but that hasn't stopped her from selling records and quickly becoming a lot of people's favorite female rap artists. Here are the top five highest selling Doja Cat singles of all time in the United States to date. Number five, Go To Town. It was released on March 9, 2018, and it went gold on November 24, 2020. And this bubbly track showcased her creativity with different bars, melodies, and beats. And it kind of foreshadows getting to a yacht. Number four, Boss Bitch from Birds of the Prey, the album. It was released on January 23rd, 2020, and it went platinum on January 6th, 2021. And although the movie flopped, the track didn't. And Doja once again showed us how quickly she can change her flow. Number three, Like That featuring Gucci Mane. It was released on May 12th, 2020, and it went platinum on September 10th, 2020. And one thing Gucci Mane's gonna do is collaborate with a hot new female artist. And we stand this, cause this song is my shit. <laughs> Number two, Juicy. It was released on August 15th, 2019, and it went two times multi-platinum on November 24th, 2020. And this was the perfect follow-up to her viral sensation move. And it showed the naysayers she wasn't going nowhere. Number one, Say So. It was released on November 7th, 2019, and it went three times multi-platinum on August 28th, 2020. And she was performing this song everywhere in every different way, with an EDM mix, an R&B twist, etc. But we were here for them all. And she even got Nicki Minaj on the remix, which gave her her first number one on the Billboard Top 100. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts, courtesy of the RIAA. My favorite song by Doja Cat is currently Vegas, cause I'm a Doja Cat stan, so that's bound to change. What's your favorite? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara, and this is another top five on Trick Daddy. Bitch, I got my pot. Yo, this your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, and welcome back to Bitch, I Got My Pot. I got my special guest here, my little nephew, Big Man. Everybody be coming to the restaurant, ask for Big Man. Y'all make sure y'all follow Big Man on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Be humble underscore dot bam. Go follow Be that. Be humble underscore dot bam. Go follow that. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, now's your time because you don't know what you're missing. Now, I started off telling Bam, I'm going to cook something for the dogs, so you cook something for the kids. And he insisted. And I noticed you only use one season. And what season is that? Sunday season. Go get you something. Go order you something right now. What you put that on, Bam? I put that on my noodles. I put that on my chicken. I put that on everything. Oh my God, Sunday season. Make sure you go get that. Bam, why you, why you frying your chicken? I want to ask you something. Your sister, mm -hmm. her birthday was yesterday. Yeah. And you was following her around. Yeah. Well, well, why, what happened? Man, she supposed to be going out on a date. I wasn't allowing that. But how old she is, man? 19, but I don't care. Man, hold on, babe. You can't do that now. You gotta let the girl grow. You gotta let the girl grow up, man. Man, I ain't. I don't feel like that's around this time. I give about like 35, 30. Whoa, you worse than I was with my sister. He said this has got to be 35 or uh, 30 to 35 years old, and she can't go on no date. Period. Not if you meet the dude. I done met him. He a good dude, but you don't, you never know people can, you can to be nice around the family members. As soon as you get around alone, oh, he on something different, so you never know. On something different, like trying to be nasty with Yeah, like, 
can't try to try to force her into it and stuff like that. Nah. But what if she come to you and say, well, 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 bruh, look, bruh, I'm ready. I love him. What if the dude say he want to marry her, sir? They not marrying at this age. I'm not even, I'm definitely not allowing that. <laughs> at this age. This man is crazy. You man, like, you can't do that, babe. You got to let the girl grow. You I'm gotta... letting the girl. So you don't got no girlfriend? I don't have a few. But okay, so how you think they brother feel? Dog, you ain't right, dog. You ain't right. How you think your girlfriend brother feel? He can feel like he can feel like that. But what? He ain't gonna touch me. Now wait a minute. How tall is your boyfriend? I give him like five, five ten, five, five, five ten, five nine. A little shorter than me. Yeah. Man, and you think you gon' and you and you think that boy is scared of you? Hey, he ain't gotta be scared of me. Oh man, man, I don't think that's right, man. And what's your mama say about that? What boots you say about that? She just laughed at it, but she probably she probably think I'm playing. I'm being dead serious. Ain't none of that going on. But hey, but your sister mature. She don't carry herself. Like no, none of these wild girls or nothing like this. She don't dress all provocative or nothing like that. So yeah, what's the problem? I know, but still, like I said, she don't carry herself like that. Like 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 she don't carry Oh, oh, she look easy. She, she, she ain't on that. But you never, so you, you never know what's in their mind. They could be thinking about something way different. So this is very important. Now, you and your daddy getting along better now, right? That's good, man. Yeah. That's good. Very important. That, why do you think it's very important that fathers and sons have a relationship? Because you, you know, well, not everybody need a father figure in their life, but you always need gonna need a father that's gonna help you with things, that's gonna teach you things, that's probably not what your mama got not gonna teach you, but that your father need to teach you. So you you mainly would need a father figure in your life unless your mom can help you with that. And you, you like like how did y'all get to that to that point? Like you you you, you talk to him, you talk to daddy, like you, you broke it down to him just like that? Yeah, I talked to him, I talked to him. It's, I told him how I felt, and I, he, he was like, okay, he will, and he spent more time. And he understood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, when I was your age, I was scared to talk to Pop. Ain't no way I stuck to Pop tell the Pop what I think he need to do. But I think it's better that the kids is able to talk to their parents. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think it's way better, I think it's very, I think it's very, Necessary for the kids to talk to their parents and um get a clear understanding because there's a lot of things that's going on. For instance, my niece he referred to she's 19. She's a city girl. She finished school. She's in college. She work always. Her very respectable, very beautiful, nice young lady. She's like he said. She's not on the foolishness. She's never been into the materialistic things. Never into. Uh, high fashions, never into none of that stuff. But she got her makeup done the other day. How she look? She looked good. I, 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 come on, I, that's my sister. I, I told her happy birthday and all that. She looked it. I mean, she looked it amazing. But still, I didn't. When she told me that she was supposed to go on the day, I was. I still didn't feel a little right. So I was like, still a little iffy. I don't even know because I left last night, like probably like nine or to close to ten. So I don't know, he probably, I don't know. You think gotta, he slid? Yeah, I think he, I, I, I feel, I got a feeling that she probably told him, oh, yeah, come get me now, my brother gone, da da da, he came, they went out. But she is grown. I know, I don't care about none of that. She, I, I, Hold on, wait a minute, big man, hold on, big man, wait a minute. So you, your daddy, your mama, and your sister live together. Mm -hmm. So who the man of the house? Me. I cook in the house. I, my mama cook, but when she feel like cook, I go in there and I cook. Cook like what? Besides this, I taught you how to cook this. Yeah, but I know how to cook steak, macaroni and cheese, all that. Man, well, what you mean macaroni? What kind of macaroni and cheese? The macaroni and cheese, they say like Kentucky? Nah, 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 nah. What kind of macaroni and cheese you talking about? Homemade macaroni and cheese, cheesy. 
All what right. you put in your macaroni and cheese? Okay, we got you where you boil it, uh-huh. You put your butter, and then you put your egg, and then you put your seasoning, then you put your cheese, then you put your, you spread everything out on a, on a little platter thing like this. Get it right, put some cheese on the top, put it in the oven until, until it got a, got a little brownish to it, until it's like a, a look good. Y'all hear this? You been here before, boy. Been here. You can't do no grits. Grits, come on now, that's gotta be the easiest thing. Grits is the easiest thing. Grits. Do sugar grits. boy grits or butter? Butter? What? Why, I, I told y'all St. Louis people about that. A 12 year old know, and y'all don't know, do sugar going grits, big man? Sugar don't. What sugar going? If I ever see somebody put sugar in grits, I'll leave their house. I promise. <laughs> y'all stay locked. We'll be right back. The bitch I got my pot. Sugar don't go in no damn grits. <laughs> Yo, this your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, and this is another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pot. Today, as you see, I got my nephew, Big Man. How the chicken coming along, Big Man? Y'all see golden brown. That's how we like it. That's like we like it. Man, like hey, like man. Women. That's that's how you like your women, golden brown? Golden brown. You been here before. Man, it's been, listen, it's been hard for a lot of businesses this year. Not because it's so, not because of the pandemic so much. Cause nobody don't want to work. Nobody don't want to cook. Nobody don't want to do nothing. Everybody just want to look good. My next guest so do look damn good. Y'all give it up for my girl, Philly May. Bring your sexy, pretty. This my nephew, big man. How are you doing? Good, how are you? How she look, big man? What she look like? <laughs> she looking back. Am I golden brown? Golden, golden like it. Golden brown. <laughs> so what's up, baby? How you doing? I'm doing good. How are Still you? Still over there doing music with Big D, huh? Yeah, you know Y'all ain't got me on a record yet? Not yet, but we going soon. Okay. You know, come and bless the records. What do you got? What you got going on right now? Like, what, what all you got going on? What you cooking up? So I have a single about to come out. It's called Take the Stands. I think a lot of people could relate to it, dealing with anybody that's been incarcerated. So gotta, it's called Take the Stand. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, different vibes is coming and got a big video we're gonna put together for it. So you got any big features on the album on the project? Um, that's in the works. You know, you know one thing I can say, right? It, it, you very seldom find female rappers that sound good and look good and, and smell good and perfect. And you, <laughs> you, you definitely smelling, sounding, and looking real good. Well, y'all you. make sure y'all check out our new single, Take the Stand. Yeah, it's this, coming so. uh, It's not out yet. Is this got anything to do with something that happened to one of your exes, your baby daddy, your daddy, a brother? Um, yeah, it's very, uh, it's a personal record. It's something that I dealt with, with somebody that, yeah, I was involved with. Listen, let me tell y'all this. <laughs> if you can't do the time, don't do the crime, man. Y'all y'all infesting the world with all these rat activities, and a lot of you do the co-signing rats and making movies that we should be calling rat tales. <laughs> Ain't no way nobody like you. Some, Somebody tried to turn state on you? Nah, uh, nah, it wasn't nothing like that. So they did, so what happened? They tried to take your your check away? They tried to lock your check up? When you no, it wasn't check me, it was somebody I was involved with. Right, right, that's, that's your check. So. <laughs> they tried to steal your check. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> Y'all gotta be ashamed of yourself. Y'all lay your ass down to do your time. And let me tell you right now, I think all rats should be exposed all rats should be exposed. I ain't, there ain't no reason to sympathize with them. It ain't, it ain't no reason, we, we cannot accept this. There's none acceptance right here. We don't do that. Now you know what we do on this show. So I came in here, I brought my nephew, okay. because I didn't know if he was gonna make it. And it looked like it's about to storm outside. So I'm telling him, I'm gonna cook something for 
the adults and you cook something for the kids. This nigga tell me, nah, you cook something for the kids, never cook something for the adults. Yeah. And he got the chicken going over here. Now he rough. It's smelling good too. Do you got brothers, you got older brothers, younger brothers? I don't, I got nothing but sisters. Oh, you got sisters. So let me ask you, older and younger? I'm the younger. You're the younger. So any of your older sisters like try to police you? Like tell you, oh, don't talk to that boy or where you going or who you on that phone with. <laughs> of course. All now my he, life. His sister's 19. He's 12. Okay. He's telling me his sister can't go out with her boyfriend because he might try something. Well, I think that's very um, noble of him to try to, you know, protect his sister. I think he cock block. <laughs> no, I ain't cock block. That nigga I ain't he, doing nothing, though. I think, see, what I'm doing he is... He looking I'm, out, he gotta look out for her. I'm you know? making a kid meal here. She can look out for herself. He can't beat her. Not lie. Not lie. She can get a little ahead of me, but I can smooth my way in a little bit. So I'm doing this. I'm doing this ghetto. <laughs> we call it, this is ghetto, ghetto taco. And more. So it's gonna be like nachos? It's gonna be like nachos, but it's gonna be real ghetto. <laughs> we add peppers. We add everything in here. We gonna do it real ghetto. We add cheese on this thing. Mm. We gonna add another layer. Oh yeah, we, we doing it, we do it big right here. <laughs> if you ain't subscribed, it's time to subscribe now. I'ma show y'all there ain't no other cooking show like this in the wall, Craig. Now you know what we usually do, right? What's that? You see that? That's a mic. Okay. We have a session, a part of the cooking show that's called Hot 16. Is there any way I get a Hot 16 from your oh, fine yeah. ass? <laughs> you know, that's what I came to do, so yeah, let's get it popping. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get you high 16. But, but first, we're gonna get you to try. We're gonna get you to try the, the food. We're gonna get you to try big man chicken. I don't think you wanna try the kids' meals. This is adults over here. <laughs> big man, come on, man. You glad you caught blocking me. I'm your yeah. uncle, man. Golly. Can I get some, can I get some action? Can't have all of that. Can I get some action, big man? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. So what we do, what we do is, I got it. So what we do is this. You put this season on everything, big man. Tell them what all you put that season on, big man. My noodles, my chicken, my fish, my steak, my everything. If you ain't got no Sunday seasoning, what you doing? <laughs> So we get those nachos over there. You like flats or drums? Uh, either way, don't matter. Okay, did you want a piece? Now, big man, you know, we say our, our grapes before we eat every time. So you gonna lead us in the grapes, big man? Might as well. Okay, let me make sure I get Get, it, uh, get our stuff together here. There you go, you can take the gloves off. It's time to eat, you know? mm mm, -mm. Okay, that's not bad. Not big man. You want to see the grace? Let's bow our hair. Say the grace. Let me get her napkin before she gives me. <laughs> now, that's old ham. Go ahead, big man. I thank God for waking us up this morning and waking us up every morning for just leading us through the way, through, through the good and bad. And I, I, I'm happy for 
my blessings. I'm, ha- I'm happy for everyone's blessings. Um, I, I genuinely thank Jesus and God for waking everybody up that's in here today. And I just, uh, I hope everything is okay with everybody. And God gonna lead you through the good and the bad without, without you even trying. So just do what you gotta do. Amen. 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 Do what you gotta do. <laughs> what kind of shit was that, big man? <laughs> do what you gotta do. Nah. Nah. That's busting. I wanna see you taste that chicken. I want to see you taste Big Man chicken. All right, let's get into this golden brown chicken. <laughs> I don't talk to you too much. What do you say? Okay. Let's bust him. Twelve year old chicken. <laughs> Might be better than his. You know, that shit busted, though. It's time to go now. <laughs> it's time to go. Thank y'all for watching. But it's not over yet. Because coming up next, her fine ass will give me a hot 16. If you ain't subscribed, <laughs> hit that subscribe button right now. Shout out to Big Man, Father Mo, IG. What y'all do? Be humble with this for a dot, bam. Shout out to Miss what's your IG? It's... Billy May and it's P I L L Y M A. Billy May. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> now I see what the name of the song is called Take the Stand. Yeah, that's the song coming out. So stay tuned for that. If you ain't subscribe, hit that subscribe button. When you ever in Miami or in, anywhere in the area, make sure you go to Sunday Eerie. Bitch, I got my part. Yeah. Now this is the part of the show where we show y'all what we got cooking in our kitchen. I got Metadin to help me with this performance right now. If y'all need some Metadin products, y'all make sure y'all hit them up. Call them on the number. They're going to give y'all a free gift. They got medical marijuana cards. They got IV therapy. They got CBD products. Hit them up. I promise you. And right now, I got somebody from Cleveland. You from Cleveland, right? Yeah. Come on over here. From the land to the What's scene. What's up? From the land to the sand. <laughs> you already know. And she go by the name of Pilly May. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna spit that 16 for you. Yeah? Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, let's ride. Uh-huh. Hey. <laughs> I mean, if you fuck with May, fuck with May. <laughs> it's your girl, Pilly May. Yeah. Yo, I burn bread, nigga toast. Me and Mary Jane, yeah, we real close. She be with me all the time on the line, drop a dime, yeah, I need her in my life, ayy. People always tryna play the kid. Me and Mrs. Jane on the stars, we ain't saying shit. We just let them haters hate, no breaks. Cause of me, I gave you hoes a little fake. When you thought I was losing, I was improving. Now I'm getting raps on tracks, steady moving. Beaver, I'm cruising, which guy I'll choose them. Rather sit back, relax, sip the cone, yeah. Uh, where them ball is at? Living life fly so high, touch the skyline. Yeah, I need her in my life. <laughs> Mary Jane, that's right. Hey, cause we vibe like that. Pilly and this bitch and we vibe like that, yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about, Pilly May. Yeah. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all hit up on Instagram. And that's what we got cooking in our kitchen. Yeah.